purple letters and gold stripes. And the visitors, <coughs> the visitors are in royal blue. LSU to our uh, left and the tip. No shock won by Del Rosario. We'll get it right wing for a quick three, and it's no good by Janae Kent. Offensive putback by Kent is no good, but she is fouled and will get a couple. So the freshman, Kent, uh, not shy about firing up a three. Well, what I love is that with, with three-point shots, and we'll talk about it a lot, there's some long rebounds. So I love that she followed her shot. And Kent will get two free throws. So LSU on the first possession got a miss. Offensive board, which they were very good at last year. And Kent fires in the first free throw. And LSU is on the board. As we have played nine seconds, Tigers up a point. Going to be a lane violation, doesn't matter. Shot went in anyway, and it's 2 to nothing LSU. And East Texas Baptist coming the other way. A little point guard Purcell at 5'4", guarded closely by Van Lith. Purcell down the lane, will kick it left corner. James for a three, it's off the back iron, no good. And up over everybody is Michaela Williams. The freshman from Shreveport down the lane, dish Van Lith underneath, left-handed layup is good. It counts and a foul. Boy, Michaela Williams yeah. like a racehorse down the middle of the court on the break. She found Van Lith, and the bucket's good. And I love that that she's able to get that rebound and push it, not looking for a point guard because she can handle the ball, and found Van Lith on the left side, which she's most comfortable because she's a lefty. And the lefty will shoot a free throw. She is very good at that. It was about 87% last year. She hits the first one here, and LSU is up five to nothing. They're going a little token pressure, but into the front court is Purcell. Purcell, top of the key, will bounce it down low on the left block. Matthews turns, five-footer way off the mark. Del Rosario affected that, and LSU's got it. Racing down the court, Williams again. Up off the rim, no good, but a putback is in by Morrow, who and, gets her first bucket. And Morrow's a big-time rebounder, so we're going to see her going to the glass quite often. She had Angel Reese-like numbers at DePaul last year. Yes. A lot of pressure in the front court. It's taken by uh, Matthews. We'll finally get it to Purcell, who will go around the left wing. So LSU, very tight man defense. Purcell to the free throw line. will kick it right wing for a three. That's a little bit too strong. No good. That one was taken by Hicks, and LSU's got the strong rebound. Right wing three. No good by Morrow. And the, the rebound taken by Hicks. Well, now, coach I'm, said that Morrow wasn't going to shoot a lot of threes. He's, not she many, shot one. Yeah, she shot one, but she got the rebound, was able to get the ball up, and then get out on the break to get that three off. Seven to nothing, LSU. Pass tipped out of bounds, and we're going to see some new faces for East Texas Baptist. I'm uh, going to see three of them, and we'll get them to you. Four, 21, and 23 will be the entrance into the game. Number four is Ashlyn Galvin, 5'6", freshman. Number 21 is Jayla Hall, who averaged three points a game last year, 5'10", senior. And number 22, Hannah Ayala, 6'1", freshman from El Paso. Katie Ward has her shot blocked at the top of the key by Morrow, who chases down the rebound. Morrow was going to head to the bucket, but then had it knocked away and stolen from behind by Galvin. A little point guard snuck up from behind and got her. But that uh, got the crowd excited, a block from up top. Pass to a cutter down the lane, four-footer blocked by Del Rosario at six foot six, but unfortunately she travels as she tried to get the ball out of there. That is back-to-back -back block shots by LSU's big. Yes, and having Del Rosario down there in the block, she is supposed to be the help, and she was there ready to defend and block that shot. Yep, because Galvin had a good cut to the bucket, thought she was open for a moment, and then uh, Del Rosario shut that down. Inbounds and a rainbow three, an air ball taken by Ward. LSU's got it, Van Lith, left sideline. Crossover dribble to the free throw line to Del Rosario up top, who will get it back to a guard. Van Lith will run the point. She's near the half-court circle. We'll get it right wing to Kent. Kent lobs it down low. Del Rosario left-handed flip shot is up and in. That's a good-looking shot. That was impressive. Six foot six, Del Rosario from the Bronx. Kent knocked it away up top, but it's taken by Galvin. Pass on the left baseline. No good. It's 9 nothing LSU, by the way, as uh, Del Rosario got the rebound. Van Lith down the lane. Nice dish to the cutter. Layup is good by Morrow. And East Texas Baptist needs a timeout. 7-18 to go in the first quarter. It's 11 to timeout. LSU was uh, on the run. And uh, Coach will stay with that same starting five. Van Lith is giving a lot of trouble to Galvin at the top of the key. She'll get it right wing to Hicks. 
Hicks is being guarded by Williams. Hicks top of the key, and she double dribbled. Yeah, lost it, got it back, put it back on the floor, and LSU has forced their second turnover. Yes, I love that uh, Janae Kent, she does a great job of hedging, which kind of forced that turnover. She does a great job. If there's a ball screen, she steps out. LSU has big guards. Kent, 6-1. Uh, Michaela Williams, 6'1", and they're athletic. Off-balance jumper baseline about a 12-footer by Williams is no good, but she was fouled, I believe, by number one, Peyton Hicks. Yep, hit her on the arm, and Michaela Williams will get two free throws. So she got herself open uh, right on the baseline, about 10 to 12-footer, and... I don't, don't like to, to do the comparisons, but her, her jumper, her mid-range game, they compare it to Simone yes. a little bit. And she uh, rose up and fired that one, got hit on the arm. Free throw is good. And again, you don't, you don't like to, to put that name, but when somebody reminds you of somebody, that's and, and that's what she looked like rising up. That one uh, rims out on the miss, and it's taken by Tristan Smith, six-foot freshman. So LSU's lead now is at 12 to nothing. Williams, by the way, scored her first point. 16-footer straight away. That is also an air ball. That one by Hicks and the rebound by Morrow. Long pass way ahead. Might have got a little greedy. And it was knocked away and stolen under the LSU bucket by Hicks. And that was a tough pass. If she got it a little bit higher, I think Kent could have gotten it. But that's a long pass to make. Pass uh, into the right corner baseline goes James. She will lob it out left wing. And uh, Michaela Williams out there to guard. Hicks will get it uh, near the top to James. Ten on the shot clock. And we have an out-of-bounds. That pass on the sideline. Hicks caught it. She was on the sideline. And another turnover. Number three will come in. Alexis Purcell. She was a starter. And she'll come in for uh, Hicks, who also was a starter. So they, they have played eight to this point. And still haven't scored. East Texas Baptist 0 for 8. LSU 4 of 6 from the floor. Top of the key, Van Lith. We'll get it uh, right wing to Kent. Get past Dello, uh, taken by Del Rosario, missed a five-footer. And the ball is out of bounds off of LSU, and it will be taken back. Uh, Morrow, I beg your pardon, on the miss, not Del Rosario. Morrow, the miss. Yep. And, and Del he, Rosario, you should have to keep her footing. You know, on that rebound, she was there, but just got to come down strong and maintain her footing. Nine to three, LSU rebound edge. You would expect that to be a big one here tonight. And we have a foul out top. I think Kent a little bit too aggressive, and she was. LSU's first foul, three have been called on the East Texas Baptist. And Galvin will be the inbounder. 5.45 to go first quarter, 12 to nothing LSU. And LSU stand with their man-to-man -man defense, so working on pressuring the ball, defending ball screens, and just working hard to communicate. Purcell pass right point to James. Three ball, no good, taken by Morrow. Morrow gets it to Van Lith into the front court, to the free throw line, down the lane. There is a collision and no call, no call. either way. And it's taken by Purcell as Van Lith fumbled the ball. Pass on the baseline, 12-footer. That's good by Michaela James. So East Texas State is on, East Texas Baptist is on the board. It's 12-2. to two. Coach Mulkey, I uh, wondered why nothing was called yeah. on that end. And that was I've, a big collision for no call. Yep. Yeah. Van Lith will get it right wing to Kent. A three. It's no good off the back iron. Rebound will kick long into the corner, and it's taken by Purcell of East Texas Baptist. She will get inside the key, then fade for an 18-footer that's no good because she had uh, Morrow running at her, but the long rebound taken in the lane by Hall. She missed a shot, and Kent's got the LSU rebound. And LSU allowed two offensive rebounds in a row, so got to... Keep working on boxing out. Michaela Williams crossover dribble, pulls up 12-footer, count it. That was a slick and smooth right there. Smooth, smooth. Her first bucket, 14-2. to two. Amani Bartlett will check in for LSU. She'll be the next sub. Tristan Smith at the top will get it right point to Hall. Hall uh, near the LSU bench on the sideline to Purcell. Will lob it way out to Galvin. A long three is up and in. And that was a miscommunication on a on a flare screen. So I don't know who was supposed to call that or defend it. 14 to 5, LSU by 9. A three is good by Michaela Williams from the right wing. Well, she gave up a three, so she's like, let me go back down and show you I can do the same thing. Well, she's got six. LSU makes their first three. They are now one for three. And it's a 17-5 lead. Free throw line jumper by Hall. Bounces and won't go. 
And a rebound for Morrow again. She will collect a bunch of those. Williams will get it left side to Kent. She'll fire it in the lane. Del Rosario turns. A little baby hook. Five footer. Back iron and in for Del Rosario. She's got soft hands and a nice soft touch. And it is 19-5 to LSU. 324 to go in the first quarter. High dribble into the front court. James at 5'10", doing some of the ball handling. Her pass out onto the wing is tipped by Van Lith, who tried to sell to the official that it was off the uh, ETBU player to no avail. No avail. Del Rosario, a nice round of applause as she leaves after her first seven minutes as a Tiger. And Amonley Bartlett is in the game. Bartlett, the junior. Wearing number two this year, 6'3", junior from Cleveland, Texas. Purcell passes deflected and is stolen. Van Lith got a piece of it, taken by Morrow to Van Lith. She's down the lane, off balance, five footer. It bounced and it wouldn't go. Offensive putback, no good, but a foul. That was Kent on the putback. And Kent has done a good job going to the boards. That's her second offensive rebound yep. that's gotten her to the free throw line. Well, Morrow's got four total. Del Rosario's got three. Michaela Williams has three. We haven't even seen Angel Reese yet. You know, she's going to grab a well, few. We know she'll get some. And here is uh, Kent, who made two free throws earlier. 19-5, to 5, LSU by 14. We'll be back here next Wednesday for another exhibition. Loyola of New Orleans will be here. Well-coached squad that we have seen a few times uh, in some exhibitions. Free throw missed by Kent. She's now two for three. So 7 o'clock for that one again next Wednesday night. And the second one rolls, and that one goes in. So LSU, uh, two for three, five, four, seven at the line. 20 to five is the LSU lead. We're at three minutes in the first quarter. Into the front court being guarded by Van Lith is Hicks. Hicks around a screen will go right side. Bounce pass on the baseline to Katie Ward. Her pass up top was tipped, but then it went right back to Ward. Her shot on the interior blocked. I believe Morrow got that one. Michaela Williams will pull up for three. Short, no good. And, but it will be chased down by Morrow in the corner. She's double teamed. They're fighting hard for it. There's a lot of contact Something going on Something again needs there. to be called there. And it was taken finally by ETBU. Jada Clark came out of there with it. That's great defense by Michaela Williams to stop that drive and make the offensive player pick up the ball. Yeah, Ward was almost trapped in the corner, came back out of there with it. Five foot nine freshman. And then up top going for the uh, steal and instead getting the foul is Michaela Williams. Michaela Williams got a little bit of the arm, but what we won't see in the stats are the number of tips and deflections that the LSU defense has gotten. Well, in this group, with the exception of Bartlett for Del Rosario, has played the entire first quarter. And they're not showing signs of slowing down. And the coach uh, will like the conditioning of that. Baseline was wide open, but a 10-footer missed by Clark, and a foul will be called on ETBU. Or was it just, it might have just been out of bounds. Might have been out actually. of bounds. LSU out rebounding the visitors 16-7. to And as we approach two minutes in the quarter, Van Lith into the front court. Two hour left. Van Lith will get it uh, right side to Williams. She will fire it down low to Morrow. Turn seven footer, no good. Rebound put back on the offense. Kent count it the foul. Offensive rebound number three. And going to the free throw line for the third time and made the basket. Now Kent, 6-1, a freshman from Oak Forest, Illinois. Very much uh, very active on the boards, and she'll get one. She has five points, three out of four at the line. And uh, we'll miss that one. Came off came off the hand a yeah, little Yeah, you saw that awkwardly. one was off. And Jada Clark, the rebound, 22-5, to five, LSU by 17. Pair of 11s on each other, Van Lith wearing 11, Jada Clark wearing 11, and I think a carry was called, so Van Lith did a good job to force that. And number 22, Hannah Ayala, is back in for East Texas Baptist, who has played 11 players already. And they got more. Big roster for them. So Van Lith will get it uh, left point to Williams, left wing to Kent, back uh, left point to Williams. Now swings it right wing to Van Lith. Back left point, Williams, three, side of the rim, no good. That rebound went over Kent. It hit the rim and kicked way out. Went out of bounds, and uh, East Texas Baptist with it. LSU struggling from behind the arc a little bit. They are just one for five. And Michaela Williams got that three. She's 
got a free throw. She's got a pull-up jumper and, and a three. So she's shown that she can score some different ways. Faith Seacrest, 5'5 five, five freshman from Winsboro, Texas. Their entire roster, with the exception of two, are from Texas. They do have a player from Ponchatoula, who's Jada Clark, number 11. She's from down the road. Pass underneath. We thought it was out of bounds. The bench did. Ayala got it. We'll get it back out left wing with 110 to go in the quarter. Hicks with nine to shoot. Backs away for a three. It's off the mark. Rebound tipped a couple times, and Morrow has got it. Now Morrow will do that. She's got six rebounds. Wow. Give you a little bit of some of her numbers when she was at DePaul. In two years, her numbers were staggering. And Michaela Williams travels on a uh, shuffle of the feet. Morrow averaged 25.7 points and 12.2 rebounds last year. In two years at DePaul, 1570 in the points column and 860 rebounds. Wow. That is some incredible numbers. Van Lith on the pressure of the point guard Hicks threw it into the sideline and with 49 and a half seconds to go. Now, if she had stayed at DePaul, she was on pace for over 3,000 points. That's, on, that's, that's incredible. And I don't know if she'll have that production here, but she wanted to come here and win a title and not chase numbers. That's so. it. And she's talked about the individual accolades. Don't matter. I won a championship. Kent misses a turnaround five-footer. But Morrow on the offensive board puts it back up and in. And it's 24-5. to five. Van Lith knocks it away with 28 seconds to go in the quarter. 24-5 to five, LSU. They are on a 10-0 run. East Texas Baptist, 2 of 18 from the floor. LSU, 9 of 19. Bo, 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 bo. On the inbound, Hicks will go right side of the lane. I think she traveled or was she tripped? Might have been tripped by Van Lith. Not on purpose, but got their feet tangled. I thought travel, but then when you look at it, when somebody trips you, <laughs> you're going to probably you, take a probably few steps. probably take a few steps. Yeah. Now, LSU is not over the limit, not even close. That's only their third. Three different players with one. Five-second difference on the clocks. Secrest uh, uh, was going to hand it off, and that was blown up by Michaela Williams. She's ahead of the pack. Nice move nice. to the bucket. Over the rim and in. Williams with eight. Ten seconds to go, and Van Lith takes a charge. She got in the way of Hicks. And her teammates come and help her up, and uh, well, that's, that's shifty. It's real shifty. Because Hicks was was making her way, and Van Lith got in the right spot and took the charge. And Van Lith has been pressuring the ball the entire time, so she's doing a great job of moving her feet and just reading the body of the offender. Eight seconds to go on the quarter. Van Lith on a diagonal to the right wing with three. She'll fade away for a three. It's short. No good. Tap back up by Morrow. No good at the buzzer. That was the first shot that, or one of the first shots that Van Lith Johnson, Samaya Smith, Angel Reese, Kateri Poole, and the fans all stand and applaud as those players are into the game for the first time tonight. His coach wanted to give the newcomers the start here tonight. ETBU basketball, two hour right to start the quarter. Seacrest is in a lot of trouble pool guarding her. She dumps it down on the low block to Matthews, who hits a cutter who lays it up and in. And somehow Angel Reese and Poa ended up on the floor. So I don't know if there was a miscommunication and a collision. At number 23 ended up with that bucket, Tristan Smith. And it's 26 to 7. That ended an LSU run. They scored the last 10 of the quarter. Faking a three and then uh, taking a long one is. Flauge Johnson missed it right wing. So LSU cold from the outside. And uh, Michaela James got the rebound for the visitors. James on the right baseline. Ducks under. Nice move. Four-footer bounced around. No good. And I think it's out of bounds off Kateri Poole. And uh, East Texas Baptist will get it back. And Poole did a good job of, of getting them to pick up the ball. But then she kind of allowed a pathway for a shot to get off. So got to stay with them. Bounce pass on the inbound to Smith. We'll hand off to Galvin inside the key. Her pass, interior pass, tipped by Johnson, stolen by Samaya Smith. Smith uh, needed uh, a guard, desperately couldn't find one, had the ball knocked away out of bounds, and it'll be a turnover. 
Yeah, Smith is usually not going to lead the break, and Paul's got to go try to find that ball. And yeah. it was so fast that she tried to get it up to Flaugier. Yeah, but uh, Bob Starkey up off the bench telling yep. Poe, you got to you got to help your uh, help your post player yep. there. Samaya probably one of the few players that you don't want to see dribbling the ball. Well, a three-pointer by James was knocked out of bounds, blocked into the LSU bench by Flaugier Johnson. That's the LSU length on the perimeter. It's just they've got a ton of it. Inbounds pass Matthews down on the low block, backing Smith in. Now she's trapped by a double team, and I think she traveled. She did. I think if I had Smith and Reese bearing down yeah, on me, I I'd get a, would, get a little nervous as well. I'd shuffle the feet a little bit. And you know what I like is that these returners now have to come off the bench and keep up that same intensity. A lot of times you always want the bench to come in, so having these starters come in and – Try to maintain what the others have already done. Yeah, and they're not used to the role, but we'll see how they do with it. Ninth turnover. Reese, 12-footer right side of the lane is no good. Rebound tip taken by Michaela James. So LSU a little bit of a slow start, 26-7. to LSU by 19, 8.20 to go in the first half from the Maravich Center. Galvin's pass swatted out by Poole. Can't chase it down near half court, though. Saved back to James. Still 13 on the shot clock. Top of the key three with Johnson running at her. No good by Katie Ward. Reese the rebound. She's going to lead the break. Reese dribbling with the left hand. Ducks through two players. Flips it up. It rolls and goes. And she was able to just somehow skinny through that and find a way to the basket. And it is now 28-7 to 7 LSU, their first bucket of the quarter. It took a couple minutes. Poole with a arm bar up top. That'll be called. No first foul of the quarter on the Tigers of LSU. A couple of subs coming in, 21 and 22. Jayla Hall, Hannah Ayala, we have seen them both. And Tristan Smith and Hannah Matthews are out. Galvin will inbound right in front of us here near the LSU bench. She will get it near half court to Ward. LSU by three touchdowns, 28 to 7. Ward will move toward the top of the key. Picks up her dribble, gets it uh, right wing to Galvin. Eight to shoot, Poa on her. Galvin will with the left hand go inside the key. Reese popped out to get her. So the pass on the uh, right side of the block to Hall, and she yes. couldn't control it and traveled with it. Good LSU defense. Great defense. Angel Reese switched on the uh, – we haven't seen a lot of switching, but she switched with Poa, made it a really tough pass, and Poa did a good job holding her – her own down low. Lob pass down low to Smith. She's double team. Has to kick it out, and she might have threw it too high. She did for Johnson on the sideline. So the starters showing a little, little bit of rust here. A little maybe. bit of rust. And like you said, it's a different, it's a different role for them coming off the bench. But with the players that we have, I think everybody's got to be prepared. Whether you start or come off the bench, to be ready to play. Ayala passes in, uh, yep, anticipated by Poe. She stole it sideline. She's racing to the bucket and is fouled pretty hard by Ashley uh, Galvin. And Galvin very quick to uh, to help Poe a little bit there. Hard foul. She didn't mean it to be hard, but with the speed, Poe was uh, going about 90 nothing to the bucket. And the hard foul, and Poe will get two free throws. Yes, you know, she, you heard the expression 90 nothing before? I have. It, okay, that's a country of my mom. That, yes. Yeah. It, if you live, they, they do that in Brule, they go 90 nothing. 90 nothing. Poe hits the free throw. Poe might have been about 110 nothing on that Probably. one. Because when she, she got that moving. steal at the sideline, she was in a hurry. Missed the second one. Rebound tip back to Poe. To Johnson, left side of the lane, kicks it to Poole, three ball, right wing, oh. air ball. Deflected, though, off of a uh, East Texas Baptist player, and LSU will get it back. Yeah, LSU's one for seven uh, from the three-point line, so not getting one for eight. Not getting many there, but got to keep pushing. Look inside. Has Angel Reese gotten the touch? Oh, there it is. Well, she got one left side of the lane. We'll turn, dish to pool. Her four-footer, somebody got a piece of it. Rather Smith, I beg your pardon. But Reese doing what Reese does. Offensive board and the putback is good. She's got four. 31-7 to seven, LSU. Pass on the right wing to Katie Ward. Guarded by Poole. Fakes left, goes right. Lost it, got it back on the baseline. Ward being smothered by Poole. We'll get it to Hall, who turns for a six-footer that's no good. Smith thinks she didn't foul, but was called for the foul. And I think there might have been a travel before that foul, but got to keep those hands up, keep moving. 
and Jayla Hall will shoot the first free first throws free of the throws. night. So LSU has done a very good job, uh, for the most part, defending without fouling tonight. Way up in the air and way off the mark. You know, Hall averaged 3.7 points a game last year. She and a couple other players are their leading returning scorers. They lost a lot off a pretty good team last year. Free throw no good, but the long kick out was over Reese. It went to Ward, who uh, hit about a four-footer in the lane. It's 31 to 9. I think they'll hear about not boxing out off the free throw line. Poole against pressure to Reese in the lane. We'll get it to Flage, who will bring it back right wing. She'll get it left point to Poole. Poole lobs it on the back door to Reese, who then finds Johnson for three, and it's good right side. That was good ball movement, and so those are the looks that you want after you look inside. Reese is probably one of our best passers. Poa tips, ball batted near the free throw line, kicked way out, taken. Reese has it to the bucket, leans in, no good, but she was fouled again, this time again by Galvin, who had the express coming at her and uh, could do nothing more than foul. But Poa started that with a deflection, and then the ball was volleyed around, and finally Reese came out of there with it. Yeah, Johnson on that three last time looked like they had changed their defense a little mm -hmm. bit, and the LSU adjusted to it pretty well. He tried a little bit of a press and then got back into a, a defense that LSU was able to uh, kick the ball around, got an open three. And that's what Angel Reese gives you. If she's double down, she's smart enough to find the open player. Reese free throw is good. She's got five here in the quarter. And it is 35 to 9. LSU has outscored them 9 to 4 here in the second quarter. Second one is in. So Reese, uh, kind of a solid six to go with a couple rebounds. Jada Clark will bring it front court. 540 to go first half. Clark being chased away up top of double team. Reese was out there. They took the ball from her. Poa had it. Then she lost it and is taken back by Sechrist. She tried to dribble it. You got to pick it up and then look first instead of putting that ball down. In the lane, double clutch, uh, four-footer on a shot fake. No good by Jayla Hall. LSU Smith has it to Johnson. Johnson down lane around her. Man, layup is good. Outstanding move by Flaugé Johnson. She started left. Her man was planted in the lane. So Flaugé took the long way around, got to the bucket. And it's 37-9. As we approach the five-minute mark, and we'll get immediate timeout when we uh, get the next dead ball. Pass up top again, knocked around. LSU perimeter defense very good. East Texas Baptist out of there with it. And then a high arcing three by Ward is no good, but it had a long kick out. Ward ended up back with it again. Out to Clark right side. Working on pool near the corner. Pass will come out instead to Seacrest with eight. It's knocked away. Reese stole it. Reese is one on none. Layup is good. Reese does not get enough credit, and I say it every time, how great of a perimeter defender she is. Well, and she took it, and it's going to be a timeout. Any starting lineup. So I think any of these players, that return may not be in the starting lineup, and they have to get used to coming off the bench. 39-9, LSU by 30, and uh, some good tight defense on Ward in front of the LSU bench to our right, and uh, with 4.22 to go in the half. Jada Clark guarded by Poa. She will kick it out way up top to Cowan. Into the corner for a three. That's no good by Smith. Rebound Reese. Reese will outlet the front court left wing to Poa. She will skip it into the right corner. Johnson wide open three, and it's good again. That's a very good pass from Poa. When you can skip it that quickly and find that player, that's a good look for Flaugé. Flaugé's got eight, a couple of trays. 41-9 to nine LSU. They're on an 11-0 run. And have now outscored him in the quarter, 16-4. to four. Clark, the sophomore from Ponchatoula, having the ball at the top of the key. And she'll leave it off right wing for Smith at six foot. Playing out on the wing, five to shoot. Entry pass. It was tipped by Reese, redirected, taken by Johnson under the bucket. Johnson into the front court. We'll get it right wing to Poa. Poa down low to Reese. She'll kick it out. Poole passed up a three. Got it to Johnson. Splits the defenders. Drives. Layup is good. It counts and a foul. Had to wait and see if they were going to get the charge right. on Johnson there, but she will get the bucket and one. And Johnson's pretty finesse, so she does a pretty good job of avoiding those charges. And there were so many different looks LSU had. From the skip out from Reese, I thought that could have been a shot. I thought Flaugé could have also kicked it one more time. So well, just and, some good looks. Yeah, and Poole had a, a three, three that she will probably right. take often. 
Johnson's free throw is in. So she suddenly has nine points. And she's LSU's leading scorer. Michaela Williams had eight in the first quarter. Has not played yet in the second quarter. Pass uh, near the top, taken by Ward. 44 to nine, LSU. Ward back to the bucket at the right elbow. Out long to Purcell, three, rims out. Reese over everybody to get the rebound. She'll dribble front court, top of the key. Will kick it to pool left wing. And had it knocked away, but a foul called on Ward. Coach with some instructions for Poa there a yeah, little bit. So Reese <laughs> let the let the break and gave it to Poa, and coach is like, just give it right back yeah. to her while she's cutting to that basket. And the inbounds comes to Poa. Top of the key to Poole. Poole into the right corner. Johnson, three more. Not quite this time. It's off the iron. And it's taken by Ward. 242 in the half. 44 to 9 LSU. Pass down low against some LSU hands on it, I think. Yep, out of bounds. It'll go to East Texas Baptist. Coach was arguing for the ball. Angel Reese said, no, I touched no, I it. Touched no, we're, it. I we're good. It. And if you notice that little sleeve on Poa's hand, she broke her hand earlier, oh. but has done a great job recovering. She stayed in shape. She ran, did everything she needed to do to be ready to play. Yep. It's on, for those on radio who can't see it, it's on her right hand, her shooting hand, but yes, hasn't really shown much of an effect. Johnson steals a pass on the baseline. It's batted out. Reese has it. Left side, she almost ran off and left it, but has it on the sideline. Now she's going to drive baseline, pass up top. Poole wants three this time. It's off the back iron. It'll kick into the corner. Smith tried to chase it, but it's out of bounds. And LSU will give it up. And LSU actually one of nine shooting threes, apparently. All right, little. Huh. All right, stat monitor and a little bit of conflict with what we've got here. Driving down the lane, Smith blocks the running four footer and got her own rebound. Outlet to Poa into the front court on the left wing. Poa pass right wing to Poole back at the top. Poa. Back to pool, back to Poa, left point. Now she will finally get it free throw line. Smith stops, 12 footer, good. That's a nice, like, nice touch. And with Smith's size and her height, that's a really good look for her. Yeah, Statmon had only got LSU with one three, but I would have sworn that Flaugé had a couple as I'm well. I'm sure she that, did, that, yes. I don't know if they were twos or threes. And a, a ball is out of bounds. It'll be 20 on the shot clock. It was kicked out of bounds. LSU 51% from the floor. A couple of subs. Number zero is in Michaela James and also Faith Sechrist. And uh, Cowan will get a breather. 123 and a half, 46 to 9, LSU. Out to a Purcell at the top. She'll take a three over Poa. Poa might have got a piece of it. The ball lands in the lane, and Smith has it for LSU. Out with the Johnson. Number's not great. Johnson is going to back out and wait for help. And she'll get it to Reese near the top. Back left wing Johnson. Fake to three. Right point to Poa. Throwing it over the defense. Spin move. Will fire it down to Reese. Ten footer baseline. Left it short. Samaya Smith puts it back up. No good. Rebound Johnson. Turns. And it rolls in from about five. So Angel Reese missed that little baseline jumper. But Samaya Smith was there. She couldn't get it. And she was fouled. And she was fouled. 48 to nine. And Johnson will shoot one. So we got Johnson with five buckets, but only 0 of 1 shooting three. So a couple of those that I thought were threes, they have down as two, apparently. So must have been, she might have had a foot on the line. So it's 49 to 9. Although I think uh, Grant, our sports information guy, is actually checking on the score. I think, I think they might be wondering the same thing I, I am. I think they here. are. So 49 to 9 is what we have it at right now. Pass uh, over on the baseline to Barry. Barry, who just checked in, Aaron Barry, 5'9", senior. And her pass down low. There's Johnson taking away another one. LSU now has four 17 turnovers, an 18-0 run. And LSU can basically play for one here. Shot clock and game clock are almost synced up. 
Topoa near the half-court circle will dribble the time away. She'll ease to the right wing with 10. Poe will now will dribble free throw line. Find Johnson left wing with six. Johnson holding on. She'll drive left baseline to the bucket. Past everybody. Layup is good. And that will end the half. LSU ends it on a 20 to nothing run. And the halftime score. Lineup and Shaida were literally and I were just talking about this 30 seconds ago. The LSU lineup is lineup. We think if we had to pick a starting lineup right Correct. now, it's going to be Van Lith and Williams to go with Reese and Morrow together for the first time and Flaugé Johnson. So we'll see uh, see what this lineup looks like. It's LSU ball to the right as we start. Van Lith, uh, right wing, pass at the top of the key to Williams. Back to Van Lith. Thought about a three. We'll fire it down low. Morrow kicks it back in the right corner. Van Lith for oh, three, and it's so good. Great. What a play out of the locker room. So great. And East Texas is staying in that zone, but what a great job of just moving the ball and Van Lith getting that open look. Purcell working, uh, gets a screen. We'll go left baseline. Back out. Oh, threw it behind her. Man's going to head into the backcourt. That'll be over and back. And LSU will get it back. So they looked like they ran that play to get Van Lith loose for a three, and she put it home for her first. She's a good shooter. Only was 29% last year, but uh, her numbers the two years before at Louisville were much better, and she's going to give LSU the lift they need from out there. Her entry pass, though, is tipped and stolen here, and then Van Lith bumped Ward going for it. It'll be out of bounds to East Texas Baptist. So good hands there by Ward. And you know, sometimes you turn that ball over and you want to get it back, and unfortunately Van Lith got a foul. Yep, bumped her uh, out of bounds. That is LSU's ninth turnover. Inbounds will come to Hicks. 54-9 to nine, the score after that three. LSU has scored 23 in a row going back to the first half. A backdoor cut and open for a minute was Ward, but Reese cleaned it up and blocked the shot, got the rebound to Van Lith. Free throw line, pull-up jumper, no good. And the rebound taken by James for East Texas Baptist. Off to Hicks, will lob it into the left corner. Caught there by Purcell, will go baseline. Knocked away, Williams has the steal or the takeaway for LSU. I didn't see who got the initial. Williams spins in the lane, left our man behind, but missed the four footer. And the rebound's taken by Matthews. So LSU's missed some uh, kind of from close in. Johnson fell down, though so, uh, Peyton Hicks shot a 12 footer, no good. And it was taken by Morrow, her outlet was batted around by several people, but Van Lith came out of there with it. Tomorrow, pass underneath to Reese. Easy layup is good. That play was a little weird all the way around. Yeah, that was a little, little strange there trying to get the ball up the floor, but Morrow was able to find Reese. And Reese put the bucket home, and Reese has 10, 56 to 9. Matthews will get it right side to Purcell on the wing. There's a, a ETBU player on the floor in the lane, and then Van Lith has committed another foul. As I thought that might have been on Williams. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, like a little body bump. Okay. Yeah, that was a little bit more away from the ball. I was watching the action on the ball. And Patrick. Yeah, it was Ma Williams. Michaela Williams' body. I mean, the kid kind of just ran into her. She's solid, and just one little bump, and she went flying. Inbounds to James, will uh, hand it off to Purcell, left wing, guarded by Van Lith. Purcell uh, working to the free throw line, on the screen and roll, she threw it up, not high enough, Reese the steal. Reese had it knocked away, but Morrow's there to get it, and her pass looking for Morrow, or rather for a Van Lith, is tipped out of bounds. Janae Kent will check back in for LSU. And Michaela Williams, I think, is going to get a breather. I think she did a couple things coaches might want to visit with her about in that last little stretch there. Yeah, on the defensive end, uh, I think she looked to switch, and it wasn't supposed to be a switch. And and on the offensive end, just should have gave that pass up a little bit sooner. Hicks, Ward, and Purcell are all out for uh, ETBU. Give you those who are back in. Tristan Smith, 23, is in. Pass lobbed up, caught. Reese misses the four-footer, but she was fouled by number four, Galvin, who also came in. And number 30, I believe is in for the first time, is Lindsey Shale, a 5'7 junior from Rockwall, Texas. And I like that Lith, uh, Van Lith gave the lob to Angel, and I know she was fouled, but that's when you want to get an and one. 
Yep, so Shale making her first appearance. Reese misses the free throw, a little bit too strong. But LSU now yeah, a little less than what they would like. They are 10 of 17 at the line. That one is in. And Reese has 11. It's 57 to 9. ETBU has not scored in a very long time. It was about midway through the second quarter last time they scored. Uh, Van Lith with good defense on the far sideline. Knocked that one away from Galvin. 7.29 to go third quarter. LSU 6 to nothing run to start this quarter. Galvin uh, pass into the right corner. That one goes to Smith. And then Johnson knocked it away. Out of bounds with 15. Tell you when the last time, uh, 6.22 in the second quarter was the last time that East Texas Baptist scored. So it has been close to 10 minutes of game action. Another tip out of bounds by Johnson. Watch, her hands have been it's everywhere. Been everywhere. So that's it. A lot of things that you're not going to see in the stats are the deflections and the tips. Even though they get it again, it just forces them to reset. Yeah, and it lets the defense rest and set and uh, figure out what they want to do. Under the basket, Reese blocks a shot, but I think she bumped the shooter, who was number 21, Hall. And they may get a chance at some points here for the first time in what would be, uh, again, close to 10 minutes. And unless you currently on a 26-0 run since that mark. So Hall will shoot a couple. She spins it up, and it rims and rattles and does not go. She was actually the one who was 0 for 2 in the first half, so she is now 0 for 3. That one is in. That one's in. So that's their first in a while. We're going to see a new player for LSU, number one, Angelica Velez, 5'7", freshman from the Bronx, New York. Velez, number 21 ranked high school player, played with uh, Del Rosario at the Webb School in Tennessee, where they won a title both year, or last two years. Janae Kent comes out of the game. Johnson on the wing, gets it right baseline to Reese. Will skip it left wing, Van Lith, three ball is good. Reese on the cross court delivery. Van Lith makes it, makes it 60 to 10. And when Velez is in, then you can move Van Lith to that two, and she can get more looks. And that's something Coach talked about. Uh, Van Lith is going to be the main point guard, but they want to run her at the off guard as well. Baseline Clark, 10-footer up and in. That is their first basket of the half, and since 6.22 to go in the fir first half. Morrow double team, so she finds Reese. Nice pump and a move, but then missed the shot from about four, and it's out of bounds. Well, that was a... When you got Morrow on one yes. side and Reese on the other, yes. that's going to work more than it doesn't. So great rebounders, but I, what, what I've seen twice is Morrow does a great job of finding Angel Reese. So she's, she's going to reward her a lot. She's hard to miss, but Morrow is here to, to make plays. She averaged about two assists a game. Kateri Poole is in. Van Lith is out. Velez drove into, or either they drove around Velez, and a pass down low to Hall is laid up and in. And what we saw with Velez now guarding the ball, she cannot allow that penetration to get inside the lane. Van Lith, by the way, nine points. And an assist and a rebound. Morrow misses one from underneath. Rebound tip taken by Hicks. Into the front court to Clark. Clark on the left baseline. We'll get it free throw line to Tristan Smith. Pass tipped by Morrow way up top. Fought for in the lane, taken by Barry, who put it on the floor. Poole then tried to knock it away. Right, that was a 20, well, that was Hall, I beg your pardon, and it went out of bounds off of her. Samaya Smith will come in. Morrow will get a breather. Angel Reese over for some advice from Coach Mulkey. So right now you have Johnson, Smith, and Reese to go with Velez and Poole. Poole will get it right baseline to Reese. Finds Velez in the lane. Into the lane for a six-footer that's no good. And Reese tipped it out of bounds. Got to get that little stop and pop and knock that down. Yep, a uh, good move to get herself mm -hmm. free. She started about the free throw line. Got herself about five feet into the lane. Just didn't get it to go. Those, I think, will fall for her eventually. Way up top is Tristan Smith. Over into the right corner now, Hicks, as we approach 517. Hicks tried to throw it down low to a cutter, and it is out of bounds. Missed Smith, and that is turnover number 23. 
60 to 14, LSU by a whole lot, by 46, as we approach five minutes, and it'll be a media break when we get there. Pool on the left wing, lobs it up top. Reese, 16 footer, rolls and goes for Reese. 13 for Angel. And when she's in there with Samaya, we'll see Reese do a little bit more high, high post flashing. 62 14. Velez knocked it away from behind to Poole, who got it back to Velez, whose free throw, or rather, whose a layup hit the underside of the rim. And the ball will go out of bounds off LSU, and we are most surprising. That is indeed most surprising that, you know, you got to come out ready to play and go after every rebound, make sure you defend. Well, LSU's going to press a little bit. Uh, it's Poa who is leading that. She and uh, Michaela Williams came back. So actually, LSU with a three guard lineup Poole, Poa, and Williams. 430 to go, 62 14. Top of the key three by James. Wide left off the backboard into the hands of Samaya Smith, who will hand it to Poa near the half court stripe. Right oh. wing Williams. Left wing now. Poole for a three. No good side of the rim. There is Reese on the rebound. The putback is no good, but the foul. LSU played 36 games last year, and we saw Angel do that in all of them, and it never got old, did it? And I think Michaela's going to get some instruction from Coach to look into Reese, who was open. But Reese is going to find a way to get the ball, so she went in and got that offensive rebound. And Reese will get a couple. She's got 13, Flauge Johnson with 14. Reese, three of four at the free throw line, has six rebounds. And free throw is in. LSU 48% from the floor. Only four for 11 here in the second half. East Texas Baptist two for five. Turnovers 24 to nine. LSU with the nine there. Free throw again good by Reese. And it's 64 to 14. The lead has grown to 50 with 407 to go in the third quarter. Loyola of New Orleans will be here next Wednesday for an exhibition match, 7 o'clock again, and again free to anybody who wants to come see it. A lot of folks took advantage of that tonight. Aubrey Odom into the game, 5'10 junior from Louisville, Texas, 7 to shoot. Purcell on the right wing with 4. We'll get it now left wing to James with 2, and she drives it toward the bucket, and Reese blocked it into the second row of bleachers behind the bucket, and the shot clock expired. And so that's something we'll hear a lot when it's when it's under 10. Everybody starts yelling hot, which means you got to stay ready and don't allow them to get a shot off. Well, Reese allowed her to get a shot off, but it didn't uh, didn't get very right. far toward the bucket. <laughs> Left wing Williams for three, no good on the pass from Reese. I think pulls over the back, and she is. And we'll see where we are on fouls in the quarter. That's LSU's fourth. LSU 3 of 13 on the threes, and Van Lith has two of those here in this quarter. Yeah, Reese on that ball, the, the guard got by her. I think Reese kind of sized it up, decided to let her go, and then timed her leap perfectly and swatted it well out of play. Baseline again, another block shot. This time James drove to the bucket. This time Reese blocked it again. Williams down the lane to the bucket. Scoop up is good by the freshman, Michaela Williams. And we've seen that from her a few times where she can get the ball and go coast to coast. Ten for Williams in her debut. And it's 66-14. Left wing, long, long three by Ward. Bounces, bounces again, no good. Samaya Smith grabbing boards. That's what she does. Down the left sideline, Williams. She's headed to the bucket, and I think she ran into a blocking foul there. She, I don't think she was set on where she was going, but her, fortunately for Michaela, the player was moving. Yes. I think it was Purcell who took that one. And I don't know if she was thinking, should I pass this to Angel? Should I take it? So she had a lot going on. But I think she'll learn how to throw that ball up to the rim and let Angel Reese go get it. Reese will leave. Flaugé Johnson back in. Flaugé with 14. Reese with 15. Poa to inbound, hits the cutting, Johnson, easy layup is good. Give Poa an assist. And Johnson now the leading scorer again with 16 at 68-14. 235 in the third quarter. A lot of movement out top by Purcell. Poa is on her and will lob it up too high. Boy, Poa just on the ball she, pressure for that. And, and Patrick, we saw that in the championship game. Poa does a great job of moving her feet, forcing the offense to turn the ball over or charge or whatever she can make them do. So she's continuing that great defensive effort. 
Oh, Poole tried to skip pass that was not high enough. James stole it on the right side. James to the bucket, ran into Poa. What? We got a charge. Poa taking the charge, as we just mentioned. So she made up for her teammate's yes. bad pass, got in great position. Poa might be the one that leads the team in charges taken if she gets a lot of minutes this yes. year, which I expect that she will. 2.13 to go. LSU in the third quarter has outscored him 17-5. to five. Poa will pass it to Smith. A little 10-footer left baseline shot it over the rim. And Avery Odom, like I said, Aubrey earlier, it's Avery Odom with the rebound. 5'10 junior from Lewis, Texas. They're going to bring five new ones into the game. Will the visitors? Into the lane is Matthews trying to back her way in. Then she'll pass out for a three that is a long air ball by Purcell, but I think an LSU foul may be on Samaya Smith. We'll see. Nope, it was on a POA, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those air ball long jumpers. Those are tough to rebound, yeah. yes. It's just hard to read, so POA was trying to box out. She was trying to rebound. There was a lot going on. So we got one 20, 21, and 22. So Hicks, Barry, Hall, and Ayala are in, and then Jada Clark will return, but LSU is over the limit, so it will be KD Ward to shoot. We'll see Del Rosario for the first time since the first quarter. She'll replace Smith. Samaya with seven rebounds. Michaela Williams with eight. Now we've been talking about some of her moves with the ball, but the rebounds have been good. Free throw is good. 68 to 15. That breaks an 8 0 LSU run. And a four and a half minute scoring drought for the visitors. Second one is in. And it's 68 to 16, the lead is 52. And in is Clark from Ponchatoula when she hit the basket earlier in this quarter. Big uh, group of happy folks uh, with a loud cheer for her. Williams has her pass tip, but it's to Poa top of the key. To Johnson on the left wing, up top Poa. Poa will get it uh, right wing to pull. It's actually Bartlett, I beg your pardon, number two for LSU who had that one, not Johnson. Down low to Del Rosario, turns and is fouled as she turned into Hall, who had uh, a de definite size disadvantage there. And Del Rosario is going to continue to get better because they're going to teach her with her size how to keep that ball up higher. Yeah, when she turned, the ball was at shoulder level yeah. of defender. you got to go up higher. Got to get that. it up. So we'll see what she got from the free throw line, see what her touch is like. Six foot six freshman. Nice touch. It went off the back iron, however. So LSU right now with Bartlett in. She snuck in for Flaugier a little while ago. Bartlett, Williams, Poa, Del Rosario, and Poole will be the five. And Del Rosario will force that one up and in. Oh, nice recovery on that one. LSU, though, 64%, 14 to 22 at the line. Lead is 69 to 16 as we approach a minute 15 in the third quarter. Hicks will hand it off on the left wing to Clark. Clark guarded by Williams. And Williams, I think, tried to reach in and poke one away, but was called for a foul, and there'll be more free throws to be had here on the uh, ETBU into the court. And that's something Williams, again, just being a freshman, she's going to learn how to fight through those screens without fouling and get on top. You know, that, I think we said that about Flaugé early yes. last year, that she committed a lot of fouls that... You know, on reach, reach arounds, trying to pick up steals, and she got much free throw, no good. She got much better, much better. as the year went on, of not picking up those. Because if you go for all of them, you're going to foul. You're going to get some at some point. So just being being there, move your feet and get there, and allow the offense to turn it over. Free throw, no good. Amani Bartlett the rebound, but then she was being hounded by Ayala over in the corner and lost it. Yeah, Bartlett's got to secure that rebound and grab it first. Sometimes they look to dribble, grab it. Minute three to go, third quarter, 69-16. And Peyton Hicks, senior from Plano, Texas, will inbound. And Poa kicks it. So, no harm. Mention all of their players are from Texas except Clark from Ponchatoula. And then a player who's not playing tonight, Tiffany Bickford, somehow found her way down from San Diego. Good shot fake and a layup in the lane is good by 21 Hall. And it's 69-18. to as we're under a minute. Poa will get it right wing to Williams. I think she traveled. Uh, yep, she did. 
Uh, Williams, 10 points, 8 rebounds, has now her third turnover. Also has committed three fouls in the game. Sometimes you want things to happen so fast, you shuffle those feet before you put the ball down. 69 to 18. It's been 18 to 9 here in the third quarter. Well, it's not a huge advantage. They went 26-5 in the first quarter, 25-4 in the second quarter. Ayala pass in the lane, knocked away, lots of hands on the floor. Poe has got it, hands it off to Del Rosario to pull into the front court. Pool down the lane, threw a couple players to the bucket. Layup, no, but uh, she was hit by one of a couple of players. It'll be Barry who will get called for the foul. And with 26 seconds to go in the quarter, it will be Poole to shoot a couple. Kateri looking uh, for her first point of the night. 0 of 3 from the floor. All of them were from three-point land. She has an assist. Has played 16 minutes. And that one ram, uh, rattles and rims and comes out. To LSU, not a great night at the line, right at 60% right now. Second one is good. This is a team like last year's team that is going to get to the free throw line a lot. Reese will get there a lot. Morrow will get there a lot. Van Lith will get there a lot. They can try to play for the last shot at 70 to 18. No. Oh. Poa might have taken another charge, or do they get her for the foul? They called the foul, but I thought she did yeah. a, a really good job of moving her feet and just being active. Well, and the key, as I said, the feet were still moving yes. when she tried to take the charge. So a few too many LSU fouls here in this quarter. They have now committed seven, and this will be the third trip to the line in the bonus. And it'll be Michaela James, the senior to shoot two with 13 seconds to go. Free throw good. And it's 70 to 19. Hall has five points to lead them. 17% from the floor are uh, the, the visitors. Missed free throw, Del Rosario, the rebound, LSU 48%. Seven seconds in the half, Williams, left corner, three, no good. With three, Del Rosario rebounds and is tied up with 0 0.7 to go in the quarter. It's almost a break for LSU because they will now have the arrow. They get the arrow. And East Texas Baptist only gets the possession yeah. for .7. They got to go length of the court, which is impossible. Inbound will be caught, and the horn will sound to end the quarter. LSU out for right. Kateri Poole will get it left wing to Johnson. Johnson will lob it back from the left side to the right point to Poole. Gets it right side of the lane to Smith. She'll throw it back into the left corner. Johnson about to fall out of bounds. Got it to Reese left side of the lane. To Poole right side. Back to Reese right elbow. Put it on the floor. One of the little people stole it. Sechrist at 5-5 got the steal. Yeah, when they're playing a zone and you put it on the floor from the high post, it's hard for Angel Reese to get away with that one. There was some good ball movement going on. Samaya commits, uh, and you, you hear Coach lamenting that. Samaya was kind of an over the back on a, a pass near the free throw line. And she was standing behind her, so she had the height advantage. There was no need in pushing. Yeah, she shoved her in the back. Yep, the uh, Smith did a good job. Tristan Smith did a good job to lob the pass over Smith. Smith gets it back, though, with a blocked shot on the inbounds pass. Van Lith has it, left elbow, will get it right side. Pool sets for three and didn't get that one. Smith goes up for the rebound. The putback is good. It counts and a foul. Very good aggressive rebound by Samaya Smith. That Samaya one has made up twofold for the foul a little while ago. Yes. She got the block and then got the bucket and is going to get a free throw out of it as well. Block shot wise, LSU's got 11 tonight. Reese has three. Smith just picked up her second. And the free throw is in. So Samaya with her fifth point. She's got eight rebounds now. Boy, rebounding shouldn't be a problem for LSU with Morrow, Reese, and Smith on the same squad. And then Michaela Williams gets a bunch as well. Driving is Hicks. Threw up kind of a wild shot. It went behind the glass. Nobody touched it. So it'll be LSU ball. That's when you pray for a whistle when this you shoot is, yeah, one. You're like, please, please blow it. <laughs> Behind the basket, but didn't quite work out that way. Smith, right side of the lane, one dribble into the lane, then dumps it down low to Reese, who then tried to throw it to Van Lith in the corner. I think Coach wanted uh, Reese to just finish that shot. Yeah, she, you got it there. Go up. 
Got the size advantage. Yeah, Angel and Angel too. She's been looking to pass mm -hmm. a lot tonight and get everybody involved. But that one, I think she should should have went up with that one. So she ended up sailing it out of bounds. Those are things that will will fix themselves though. Now Reese trying to get a steal up top. She and Van Lith double teaming Galvin. Galvin got through it. Bounce pass right elbow Matthews. And a pass to the left sideline, and the player standing on the out-of-bounds line, Hicks, was going to shoot a three, but her foot was on the sideline. Morrow will come in, and Smith is out. We haven't seen Morrow and Reese together a lot. We saw him at the beginning of the third quarter. We'll see him here. 73-19, the LSU lead is 54. Now, ball on the floor. Uh, it was knocked away from Johnson, but LSU will get it back. The ball is into the courtside seats. Now, not a big squad, but a pesky group from East Texas Baptist, and they have been very aggressive. They're smaller, but they have been uh, been like some gnats in there and have knocked some passes away. Van and they, Lith. And they continue to uh, compete. Yeah, Van, that's what you want to yeah, see. Van Lith on the right wing. Left wing to pull, gets it down low. Morrow turns seven footer, did not get the home rim bounce, and it was taken away by Galvin. But Johnson knocked it away, stole it, saved it into Van Lith, who finds Reese at a tough catch. But she's under the bucket and is stripped again. And then a foul on Morrow going back after it. That was a whole lot going on there. We get it, they get it. Well, and again, uh, it was the pass a little bit out of the way of Reese, but again, when she put it on the floor, somebody yes. was there to slap it away. So, yeah, once you put it down in the lane, East Texas is there getting their hands on it. So LSU with some turnovers tonight. They've got 16 of them. Johnson steals it. She's going all the way to the bucket, one on zero, and lays it home. Well, Johnson will do that. That is another steal. She's got six of them tonight in the steal category. And it's 75 to 19. And that's that reach we just talked about. Where yep, Florida, Johnson. Yeah, we, Johnson knows better than the reach there. Just keep moving your feet. Uh, Johnson on the night. 16 points on seven of nine shooting. Six steals. Oh, pretty solid. Has uh, a rebound. And that was actually her first foul of the game. Now Mullane stumbling to the bucket. Hicks throws it off the glass and in and drew a foul on Van Lith. Nice little razzle-dazzle and she was able to flip that one up. Yeah, she looked like she was headed into trouble. Yeah. And uh, Van Lith got the foul. So 75-21, free throw spins out, no good. Morrow in traffic had it, but it was tipped away. Reese has it. Now Reese will dribble it into the front court, and she will get it to Van Lith in the half-court circle. Van Lith, the pool, left wing. Gets it down low. Morrow, five-footer, banked it in. Good entry, good finish by good Morrow. Finish. And Morrow was able to get herself turned around and find the glass. 77-21, LSU by 56, 7-2 here in the fourth quarter. And Janae Kent will come into the game for LSU at the next whistle. And we got a moving screen called at the top on Matthews. Looked like she was fairly statuesque, but there must have been something there that the official saw. Yeah, I think maybe a little bit of move, but that's where the communication has to happen, calling the screens. And uh, Van Lith will check out. Van Lith wearing number 11. That was Emily Ward's number that she held on to for a few years. Johnson fires it left wing to the right wing and it went right through the legs of Kent out of bounds. I'm not sure I could do that if I tried. No, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so that, the pass of cross court pass went right through Kent's legs and into the bench. So LSU with some turnovers tonight. That's 17. Coach won't be thrilled about that. East Texas Baptist, though, is going to give it up for the 33rd time on a dribble out of bounds. As um, Galvin was the one who committed that, her fourth of the night. 6.30 to go. Gotten a little sloppy here in the late stages. Pool at the top of the key to Johnson. Fires it quickly to Morrow. Turn, six-footer. Got the friendly bounce that time. Yeah, she's got a quick little turnaround jumper that she gets off. 
Very, very fast. Just past the SEC logo at 79-21. Morrow with 10 on 5 of 10 shooting. Out long to James. James pass tipped in the lane by Reese. It's taken by Johnson. A race to the bucket. Flaugier lobbed it too high off the glass, but it was and it's knocked out of bounds. LSU will get it back. That was a tough angle for yeah, that's a real, there. That's a real tough one. Oh, there was actually a foul. Take that back. And Angel Reese was there to clean it up, yeah, but so the foul it, uh, was called. Oh, okay, actually the foul was called before. It was on the Johnson shot, okay. Yes. I, either late whistle or I heard it late because I was following Angel getting the ball, but they actually called the foul on the Johnson shot, so her free throw is good. No falls, Jay, three of three at the line, 17 points. Reese with 15, Morrow with 10, Michaela Williams with 10, so four in double figures, 80 to 21. And 60 point lead now, 81 to 21, as Johnson hits again. So in LSU's first exhibition last year against Mississippi College, uh, the sc it scored 80. So we'll score one more than we did in our first exhibition last year. And down the lane was uh, Clark, had it knocked away by Poole. So you're saying we scored 80 in the exhibition last year, won the national championship. Yeah, well, how about that? So we got 81 tonight. What are, you, are we making a correlation? <laughs> Well, another foul uh, kind of off the ball by Matthews, who was setting an illegal screen before the ball even came in. Yeah, that's their second uh, and the last second minute foul or so. called in the, yeah, pretty close. Uh, left wing Kent, bounce pass, left block to Morrow, doubled, so she's back out to Kent on the left wing. To Reese, back to Kent for three, and she drained it on the left wing. Well, got it to Reese, who got it back to Kent. Back to she, Kent. she reset and fired it home. And with Angel Reese, you got to always stay ready that she'll get you the ball back. 84-21, Reese her third assist of the night. And Kent, her first three. Knocked away in the lane, Poole's got it. Poole lobs it ahead to Reese. Good catch on the run, layup is good. Very good transition basket. Now just when you think Poole had led her too long, those big long arms yes. of Angel Reese went Spider-Man and just curled that ball in, and she knew how to finish, 86-21. Going to see a couple subs for LSU. Left elbow jumper off the glass by Ayala, but into the hands of Williams. Back to Ayala, who threw it off the glass again from four feet away. And it's taken by Morrow. Hands it to Poole. Poole hits the trailing Morrow for a three. It's no good. Rimmed out. Reese called for a over-the-back rebounding foul. And that will bring us to a timeout. 86-21, LSU who was fouled by Reese LSU over the limit again. Second one bounces and also won't go, and Del Rosario at 6-6 snags the rebound. LSU on the run. Johnson right wing to the free throw line. Try to pass across, and it was knocked out of bounds by Ayala. Coach wanted Fla Flaugier to do something else there. Yeah, Samaya Smith, was, Samaya Smith was on Flaugier's side, so she just had a nice little dump down for a layup. So Poole will inbound 22 on the shot clock, 4.35 in the game. Inbounds to Kent, who hands it back to Poole around the corner to the top of the key. Lobs it down low for Smith. A lot of action there, bobbled it, finally kicked it out to Poole. Right side to Johnson, 12-footer, no good. Rebound, though, good by Great rebound by Smith. Kent. Kent. She came from the weak side, got the rebound, and got a reverse layup. Yeah, Kent kind of showed up out of nowhere on that from the left side. Janae stays on the floor. 88-21. LSU by 67 now as we approach four minutes. Jada Clark on the left wing will go around Poole, then will out to uh, Ayala, 14-footer, no good. Smith rebound. And Smith uh, showing some ball handling. We'll get it front court to Johnson. Left sideline. Dumps it to nice Del Rosario. Dunk. Hits the cutter. Smith. Four-foot fadeaway is good by Samaya Smith, who's got seven. I do like the post looking post to post. Absolutely. Del Rosario, the good pass. And she'll get uh, her first assist of the night. 90-21, to 15-0 LSU run. And 100 might be in play here. Pass, well, on a dribble in, Ward tried to throw it behind her, nobody home. Well, Poa and Van Lith were going to come back in, but uh, it's actually instead going to be Velez, who will come in for Flaugier Johnson. Velez, the freshman, 
at 5'7 from the Bronx. Had a little bit of a rough go her first out. And we'll see if she can get some of those freshman jitters out here in the last three minutes. Kent, along with Poole, Smith, and Del Rosario. Kent will lob it up high. There's Smith, shot blocked, but the foul. And Samaya is one of those. Uh, my, one of my favorite things, when you lob it up, and then all of a sudden her head pops up, up. And you see her head about two feet above everybody else's. Yeah, she is an incredible leaper, so... Great job of Kent coming off that screen, and she just threw it. So a lot of times you say, just throw it to the back of the backboard and make her go get it. Now Samaya, nine rebounds to go with seven points, and now has eight on the free throw. Unless she's been a little bit better here in the quarter at the line, they're five for five. And in the half, they're ten for 13, so that number has gotten better since halftime. Second one is good by Smith, 92 to 21. Now a 17 to nothing LSU. We're only had a few of those tonight. So Velez uh, will guard Purcell. Purcell to the left wing. Dribbles in a little bit and throws it back out to Odom. 37 turnovers for the visitors and make it 38 on an out of bounds pass. Izzy Besselman will come into the ball game. The sophomore from right here in Baton Rouge. From you Baton hear? Rouge. She's got a championship ring that she's proud of. Well, not a ring yet. That's like, coming next it's week. It's coming soon. Coming very soon. The home opener two weeks from tonight against Queens. We invite you to be here. You're not going to want to miss it. Kent, left wing, gets it down low to Smith, who's double teamed. So she puts it on the floor, goes baseline, four footer, no good but she is fouled. So LSU will uh, be in Las Vegas to take on Colorado two Mondays from now. Home opener two weeks from tonight. Championship banner will be unveiled. In fact, the ceremony will start at 6.30. So make your plans to be here early, early on the home opener. Smith misses the free throw. Ceremonies will start at 6.30. We'll tip off just after 7. LSU and Queens team that just went D1 a, a couple years ago. They're out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Smith's second one is in, and it's 93 to 21. It's been a 23 to 2 quarter for LSU, so they have uh, defended very well in this quarter and most of the night. Del Rosario knocks the entry pass away, and Velez has the steal. Pass way ahead to Smith on the lane. One dribble, layup, no good. Glass and rim, and it went away. But it is out of bounds back to LSU. I thought she was going to dump that to Izzy. Yeah. I think when you're that close to the bucket, though, yeah, you kind of yeah, yeah, go up it, yeah. for it. Inbounds, Bessel, and she wants three from the corner. Side rim, no good. That would have sent oh, the crowd yeah. into a, a frenzy because she was wide open. About a 30-footer is good by Sarah Cowan. She hit that from the C on the Cox logo, which is well behind the arc. And it's 93-24. Besselman throws it in the lane. Del Rosario had it knocked away. And it is taken out of there by Avery Odom. A minute 52 to go. 93-24. Barry gets it uh, out long to Cowan. She'll go right point to Odom. Pass in the lane taken by Ayala. Turn 17-footer. Went about 14 and a half. It was an air ball. Out of bounds at the 138 mark. And although Del Rosario let her catch it, that's that's a tough shot to get over someone that long and that tall coming at you. So Cowan uh, leaves. And uh, Sechrist back into the game. LSU ball to our right. A little five-footer in the lane. Good by Samaya Smith. And a foul. Foul was on Ayala. And that was a good uh, pass. I think it was Kent who made the initial entry there. And it's 95-24. And Smith will shoot the one. She's adding to her point total. She's got 13 points, nine rebounds in 19 minutes. Pretty solid effort for half a game, 96-24. Odom left side, past Velez, six-footer off the glass and in. Oh, 96-26, Velez right side to Kent. We'll get it to Del Rosario, four-footer. 
blocked. Again, she kind of started low. And yeah. That allowed the defender to, to get that. And she'll learn to you feel the body and then know where they are. And keep that ball high. Seacrest, a long three. No good. Rebound put back. No good by Ayala. Besselman trying to get it. She's on the floor down amongst the Tiger girls on the baseline. And it'll be East Texas Baptist ball with 52 seconds to go in the game. LSU 48-34, only out rebounding them by 14. I've got to wipe up the floor from the perspiration down there before we can continue play. And it'll be Seacris to try to inbound it, and she does on the right wing to Barry. Pass up top, knocked away by Velez into the backcourt. Seacris got it, 10 to shoot. She's back into the front court. Seacris right wing with eight, goes baseline with six. She's trapped. And then she got it to Ayala, whose four-footer was blocked by Samaya Smith. Into the front court, Velez. Velez, right side, Besselman. A three again. No good. Rebound, though, Samaya Smith. It's She's staying good. active. 98. And she was fouled by Ayala. So the putback by Smith was good. And Samaya has 15. 15 and now 11, 11, rebounds. 11 rebounds. That's a double-double in half a game. She's played 20 minutes. And she'll shoot one and get it. 99-26. Don't think LSU's quite going to get to 100 here tonight, but 99 is not bad. And they're going to shoot 50% for the game on 72 shots. Seacrest guarded by Velez to the left wing. She'll get it at the top to Ayala for three and air ball. Smith, another rebound. Now, Proud wants LSU to get 100, but Coach Mulkey is going to call them off here. No, actually, she says to shoot it, but they don't. The crowd is excited because at 100, I think they get yeah. something. But LSU does not get a final shot. However, LSU gets a... <laughs>
Yeah.